Greetings to all truth searchers. It's nice to see everyone here once more. This is your usual dose of royal news and commentary, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, please assemble, and let us explore the fascinating dynamics of the royal family, where ambition and treachery clash with honor and loyalty. As King Charles, the recently crowned sovereign, takes a daring step and discloses the actual nature of his connection inside the raw fold, we find ourselves in the middle of a momentous event in the history of the monarchy. Before we continue, though, I want to sincerely thank you for your unwavering support. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Click the subscribe button and remember to click the bell symbol. As the gold stick in waiting for his first day opening speech to the legislature, King Charles has conferred upon his sister and an unprecedented honor. The eldest sibling has long been a steadfast pillar of support for her brother the king, having served as a counselor of state and standing in for the monarch in his absence. This shows her dedication to the crown, and the king's decision to elevate her to this esteemed position is not merely ceremonial but a testament to the genuine closeness between them. This prestigious role, which has deep historical significance dating back to Henry VII, signifies the unwavering loyalty and trust the king places in Anne. It's symbolic of a gesture that goes beyond tradition. Grant Harold, the seven-year serving rote butler for King Charles, discusses the noteworthy change. He underlined the monarch's dedication to reshaping the monarchy in his own image by assigning such a significant responsibility to a single person. In addition to acknowledging her years of service, honoring King Charles also validates their special bond. And will carry out her responsibilities as the gold stick in waiting with the utmost seriousness and attention as she follows the king in the stately parade from Buckingham Palace to the House of Parliament. This duty has historical significance. She represents the family's unwavering togetherness over time. The gesture reflects the king's vision and principles and emphasizes his resolve to reinterpret the monarchy. Harold also illuminated the close friendship that existed between King Charles and Anne, a closeness that was developed from their shared experiences and difficulties of living close to one another. They have been our neighbors and confidants for more than 40 years, supporting one other through the challenges of daily life. Now that we are commemorating Anne's important contribution to the state inauguration of Parliament, we must talk about the sharp division that exists within the royal family. Some people find themselves on the outside, even if Anne is shown favor by the monarch. Frantically here, and Meghan and Harry, the self-declared victims of the royal family's purported oppression, seek attention and approval. Their acts speak volumes and demonstrate their opportunistic nature. In this story of contrasting fates, we see the true nature of the family, loyalty and honor are rewarded, while betrayal and opportunism are met with exclusion. As King Charles extends his hand to his law, he distances himself from those who have chosen a different path, a path of self-aggrandizement and loyalty. A new age when sincerity and integrity are paramount has been ushered in by King Charles's choice to commemorate Princess Diana and reshape the monarchy. Now, what are your thoughts on the news? Please let us know in the comments section. See you when we return for more royal news and commentary. For now, bye.